Hey, I'm Kylie with Sim Group, and today I'm going to read you Never Tease a Weasel by Jean Sol. You can knit a kitten mittens, and perhaps that cat would purr. You could fit a fox with socks that exactly match his fur. You could make a goat a coat with a collar trimmed in mink, or give a pig a wig in a sh dainty shade of pink. But never tease a weasel. This is very good advice. A weasel will not like it, and teasing isn't nice. You can make a riding habit for a rabbit if you choose. Or make a turkey perky with a pair of high-heeled shoes. You can make a collie jolly with a gay crochet cravat. Or make a possum blossom in an Easter Sunday hat. But never tease a weasel, not even once or twice. A weasel will not like it and teasing isn't nice. You can build a mouse a house with a chimney made of bricks. You could give a dove some gloves and a set of walking sticks. But never tease a weasel. There, now I've said it thrice. A weasel will not like it, and teasing isn't nice. You could give a mule a pool and some jaunty swimming trunks. Send a case of Spanish lace to a pair of lady skunks. You could give a fish a dish for her favorite seaweed stew. Send three frogs some sailing togs and a yachting cap or two. But never tease a weasel. Now I can't be more precise. A weasel will not like it, and teasing isn't nice. You could bake a drake a cake for his special birthday treat. You could braid a bug a rug to make his bug house neat. You could feed a spider cider, or perhaps pink lemonade or give a moose some juice to sip on in the shade. But never tease a weasel. Now remember what I've said. It's more fun to please a weasel and be friends with him instead. Thank you for listening. This is my daughter's favorite book and I hope you enjoyed it too. If you'd like to hear more stories, you can check out Rosa Parks Library.